Well, if you're like me, you probably have an old drill lying around that you never use, and it's not because the drill's bad, it's because those old rechargeable batteries you have don't work. And that's my problem. I've had this old 12-volt uh, DeWalt drill sitting in the basement, never used for the past couple years because the two batteries that come with it are completely dead. Uh, but recently I saw that you could recharge or realign the batteries by using a welder. I thought I'd give it a try to realign these batteries. They're 12 volt um, NICAD batteries. The first thing I did was determine the positive and negative terminals. And I'm going to spark it with the welder first in the opposite direction and then spark it in the positive and negative, hopefully realigning. Internally there's um, several small they look like C batteries in here, and I couldn't get this case apart. Some people have screws, and they can uh, take apart these cases and do it, but mine is completely factory sealed. Right now, when you put it on the charger, it flashes a few times slowly, and then it flashes quickly, just like that, meaning um, the battery pack is damaged, or it says defective pack. So. There's really uh, no downside to this. I'm not using it. The batteries don't work. So I'm going to take these in the garage and uh, see if it works. Okay, so here we are out in the garage. And um, the welder I have is just a real cheap uh, Harbor Freight $100 90 amp welder. And the first thing I did was remove the tensioner on it. Um, this, this feeds the wire out. And I don't want that. I just want to use the wire as a connector. So that's the first thing I did. So it's uh, pretty straightforward how I'm going to do this. Um, the first time I'm going to do it opposite. So I'm going to take the positive end of the welder and touch it to the negative side um, and brush it a few times. Then after I do that I'll flip it around and realign it the correct way and I'll check it with the multimeter and put it back on the charger and see if it works. Alright so I am going to wear my welding shield for this. Uh, it doesn't produce a lot of sparks but I'm just worried about if the uh, battery might explode or not by the fact that I'm sparking it on negative to positive. Um, the other thing is the settings, I have it turned all the way to max and before I uh, unhooked the um, wire feed I did want a little bit of wire, not sure if you can see that, but I, I wanted a little bit of wire to come out uh, because when you spark it some of the wire uh, melts off so I want a little bit of it out then I'll go back unhook that wire feed and we can start shocking it. Okay so that's all it took, four or five uh, sparks and we'll go down check it with the multimeter was reading zero before and now it's reading uh, a tenth of a volt which isn't much um, but the good news is when I put it back on the charger uh, it's not flashing rapidly saying defective pack anymore it's, it looks like it's actually charging so I'm gonna leave it on there for an hour or so see if it actually holds a charge well instead of waiting an hour I tried it after just a couple minutes and I think it actually worked because I have it on the multimeter and it's reading almost 13.6 volts and I know I got the voltage right because with the red or the positive on the front, it's not reading a negative. If I had it backwards, it would be negative 13. So uh, we'll throw it on the drill and see if it actually worked. Well, if you can believe it or not, uh, this actually worked. I had this battery on the charger for just a couple minutes, and it never flashed defective battery. Um, I put it on the drill, and it works just fine. And that's a battery that's been sitting in the closet for two years. It had zero voltage, it said defective battery on the pack, and now it seems to work. So, uh, I guess shocking your NICAD batteries with a welder just a few times really does realign it and brings it back. I, I don't know if it's new, but it's uh, saved me 60 bucks on a new battery, so it works. So all these videos that say uh, good is new, bring them back to their original life, I would say that's not necessarily the case. Um, it's definitely better than it was considering these were both completely dead and now they're running. Um, from a dead battery it's about 50%. So um, it works but not as good as uh, everyone claims it would be.